Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Now the cards that are currently influencing or representing that of your partner or person of interest, we have the Eight of Cups. The energy of the blockage to overcome is the full card. And the energy that you're coming is the three of swords or the energy that you're dealing with at the present time. All right, so we have the full card. This is a representation of new beginnings that are coming to you, uh, Capricorn. I feel that for some of you guys, you jumped very quickly into a decision or a... Um, some type of conclusion in regards to a relationship now the energy of the partner the, we have the eight of cups so the eight of cups symbolizes the fear of the fear of trying to decide or trying to understand what is best for them what is best for them to decide at the present time I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an energy where there is like, uh, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a relationship that perhaps doesn't really stabilize or hasn't really stabilized. The Eight of Cups is about walking away. But with the full card, I feel that there is almost a desire to walk away from the relationship and it could be um, a person that you're dealing with or your partner. There is some type of tendency of betrayal or cheating that I'm seeing. Because we have the three of swords here. And the three of swords indicates betrayal, deceit, being heartbroken. Uh, with the full card, it could be you or it could be the partner that conti continuously keeps forgiving a behavior. Or something that is creating a lot of hurt and turmoil emotionally wise emotional wise for some of you guys it could be that there is this never-ending cycle of trying to fix the relationship or trying to stabilize the relationship but it could be that you're dealing with a partner or a person that is very immature or doesn't want to take responsibility to a certain extent so what i mean by that is it could be that they are you know, very fey weathered, meaning that they're in it one moment and then the next moment they're willing to walk away from the relationship when it gets hard. The full card is here to tell you it's time for you to stop, you know, giving or putting your heart and giving it to them on a silver platter. Um, being, you know, being foolish into rushing into trying to fix the relationship so an example if you guys are dealing with a relationship where you guys are constantly breaking up and going back with each other breaking up and going back with each other or you keep dealing with accepting that they're cheating on you and this could be vice versa you guys it is a general reading i feel that what spirit is telling you here is it's time for you to stop making irrational decisions it's time for you to stop playing the full card hoping that this person is going to change or that they're going to one day out of you know out of the blue they're going to wake up and they're going to know exactly that it is you who they want with the three of swords this is a habit this is something that they continuously keep doing and there is a need for you to for your well-being or for your stability of mind or health you know in regards to your mental health it is important to understand accept them as they are or, or walk away from this situation i feel this is toxic energy you guys for some of you guys i feel that they're talking um and, and this could be even the single capricorns out there it could be that you're dealing with a person that is very immature they don't know exactly what it is that they want and it's almost like whatever behaviors they do or, or if it is that they are stepping out of the relationship, they're not taking self-responsibility. And it's like, I promise you that I'm going to change and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And they do for a while, but then they retract and go back to the same behavior. So what Spirit is telling you here is 
are you actively like you can't blame them for showing you what they've been showing you for quite a while it's time to take either self-responsibility and to say you know what it's been me the one that's been wasting my time or it's been me the one that's been hopeful and not seeing things really for what they are and it's about accepting who they are now this could be vice versa you guys this could be your energy capricorn that you tend or have a tendency of stepping out of the relationship and the partner continuously keeps giving you you know opportunity after opportunity now for those of you guys that are stepping out of the relationship but you feel like your partner doesn't know trust me when i say they are aware whether they have proof or not there is an understanding and it's almost like they continuously keep hoping that you're going to change or that you're going to want to settle now on a grander scale like i said we have four or five different planets in capricorn right now so tempting your luck capricorn if this is you the one stepping out is not ideal because if there should be light shed on this hidden situation because we have saturn in your sign and it is the karma planet and it also represents highlighting everything that's been hidden if this is a relationship where you've been with your partner for over 10 15 20 years and up until now they haven't left your ass you've been warned should this come out to the open they're walking away they're not hesitating anymore and they're not wasting their time anymore so keep that in mind capricorn now let's see what your final message is here you have the prayers card so I feel that for some of you guys, it could be a situation where perhaps you've been tested, perhaps you've been going through a very difficult time or situation. And for those of you guys that have been struggling when it comes to finances, when it comes to stability in general, um, and, it, and it's brought you closer to your spiritual to your spiritual side make sure that you're coming from a good place you're not using that as an escape to excuse what we've done in the past sometimes we keep going through difficult situations and it's not because other people are doing anything it has more to do because you're a shitty person now i'm not saying this to every capricorn out there i know that this is only going to connect with a few of you guys out there that are going through the situation but what spirit is telling you is that it's time to completely do that transformation capricorn and transformation in the aspect of if it's you the one that keeps giving and giving in relationships you can't sit there and cry about being taken for granted because you keep allowing them to do that and if this is you capricorn the one that's taking for granted your partner you've been warned because should anything come out to the open in the next coming weeks the Eight of Cups is a representation of the partner walking away. With the cycle that we're currently going through, it's not something that is going to be able to be undone, meaning it's not something that they're going to be able to forgive you very quickly if, if, in fact, they decide to forgive. So very heavy energy, but I feel that for a lot of you guys, for those of you guys that are coming from a good place and you are genuinely trying to change and be a better person, then that's great and what spirit is telling you is that your prayers are being heard but for those of you guys that only become spiritual or connected to your spiritual side because you're going through it what spirit is telling you is no you need to be connected with your spirits with your spiritual side regardless if you're doing good or bad and if you're putting a lot of bad out there meaning you're being deceitful and you're lying to your partner you can't sit there and complain why you can find stability or why things seem to be just chaotic around you because this is the energy this is your karma to deal with all right all right my lovelies i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope it gives you some type of clarity and insight and we'll see each other soon bye